let's have a look at the survey method that was used. So some little reminders. When we look at the different methods, so face-to-face, -face, online, um, pen and paper, um, etc. Each of those methods has some different advantages and disadvantages. So these are some of the things that we can talk about being advantage or disadvantage for each of the methods. Okay. So the other thing to remember is that bias, we can have, for example, there can be interviewer bias, accessibility bias and self-selection bias present in these different methods. So here is the info about the survey and in particular they talked about it being an in-home face-to-face survey. So that's, uh, that is our method that was used. Okay, so that's our survey methods. Was an in-home face-to-face survey. So now we need to evaluate that. So what do we think about this? Okay, well some of the advantages of a face-to-face -face survey. Face-to-face -face survey, people are always more truthful, okay? People are more truthful um, when talking face-to-face. -face. Particularly about sensitive issues. And because this was a health survey, that's quite relevant. Okay. Um, this will lead to more accurate data. Okay. Let's have a look at some of the other possible things to consider. We need to think about response rate. Well, I know with response rate, if we've got face-to-face, -face, it's always harder to say no to somebody face-to-face -face than it is to say no to somebody by email or throw or get a um, questionnaire in the mail. You can just throw it out. It's much easier to ignore. So for a face-to-face, -face, that's an advantage is that the response rate will be higher. Okay, so the response rate for a face-to-face -face will be higher. Um, some other factors to consider um, cost well that's going to be a disadvantage because we know it's going to cost a lot more the time to do this is going to be a lot more geographical coverage because people have to travel around that's going to be harder sensitive questions we've had a look at that um, so there are a number of our advantages already now we want to do the same looking at some disadvantages So let's just pull this up. So some disadvantages. So cost um, is a lot higher because you have to employ people to go to each, employ people to go to their homes and ask questions which takes quite a lot of time um, another one was the geographical coverage So as the interviewers have to travel to people's homes, this limits um, how many towns and areas 
cupboard. E.g. small towns may not be involved in this survey. Okay, so there's some advantages and disadvantages.